All right, in this video, what I wanna show is how to take images that are different sizes, maybe your images or images that are provided in a client's briefing have different sizes, and we've gotta make them look the same size because this right here just doesn't cut it. I mean, look at this, you know, you have three images, the, the text is going on all over the place, and what we wanna do is create some balance. And to do that, what we're gonna do is resize the images, so as you can see here, the images are all going to display with the same width and height, and this allows the text that goes below to be very nice. And as you can see, a final product here has been created is that you have several several boxes. All these images had a unique size, but we were able to display them uh, with a balanced setting. So to do this, I'm going to show you how to do it within Photoshop, so let's get to it. Okay, here are the three image files that we'll be working with. And if I highlight them and just look at the information, you can see the different sizes. This is 800 by 531, 300 by 300, and 80 by 116. Well, I've decided that I actually like this uh, size for, for my Photoshop canvas. It gives a nice uh, landscape kind of view, and so I wanna keep that. So I'm just gonna close these out, and now I'm gonna go to Photoshop and create a canvas with the size 800 by 531. So once I do that, I'm going to take these th three images and I'm just going to paste them in here. And just click check a few times. And now they're all here. And here you can see the big image that is taking up all the background. I'm just gonna reorganize them. Here you see the graph that is displaying, but there has a white background. And then there's Oh, let me just move. And then there's the logo, which is a PNG file, which has no background at all. So because what I've decided to do is that for this one, I want, uh, for these images, I want to just use, I, I want to continue using the white background and, and have them display correctly. Now if I do, if I just leave it like here and I, and I export it, if I save for web as a, as a JPEG, it's gonna, it might be hard to see that, that logo. As you can see, as this would be the normal size, it's not exactly, it's a little bit hard to read. But what I can do is I can actually increase the size a little bit. And normally this is something you wouldn't want to do because the quality of the, of the image might, might look a little blurry. But because these images are so small, it actually displays okay. So I can do, do that for that one, and I can also do it for this one. I can increase the size. Let me just select it, and if I bring it a little bit bigger, notice that it looks okay. So now all I'm going to do is just save each of these for, for web. I'm going to select uh, just to make sure that everything is safe. I'm going to select excuse me, the JPEG function, not the PNG, but do that one because that will also collect the white background as well. Save it at these image... Uh, at these image sizes, uh, the width and the height, and the quality, I tend to go for 60. I find that that's, uh, it reduces the size while maintaining a good quality of the image, and then you're done. You would just eventually upload those to WordPress, and that should complete this exercise. 